G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. This is my daughter, Charlotte. Charlotte, you love to be in videos with me, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. As soon as she heard me starting this video, she's like, Daddy, you making a video. You want to be in the video, don't you? Maybe. She'll be three soon. Anyway, long time between videos. Uh, that's fairly normal these days. Monday nights has been non-existent simply because I've been so busy with work and uh, I keep forgetting I'm out of the habit now and by the time I get back from the studio 7.30, 8 o'clock at night um, and, and I want to spend time with Charlotte. So 8 o'clock's normally your bedtime, isn't it? But Daddy keeps you up for a, a little bit so I get to spend some time with you. Otherwise I don't see you very much because I'm working so much. Mm. So Monday nights hasn't been going ahead but hopefully I can sort of get things back on track and and, and and keep on doing that and, and find some time to film some videos and, and, and show some progress on what I've been painting and um, that sort of stuff. But anyway, this video is a response to Spud's latest um, I am a Wargamer questionnaire sort of viral st spreading sort of video. He did one a couple of years ago and I was nominated this time by um, Mel the Terrain Tutor. Now, I did one a couple of years ago, which you'll be able to find on my channel somewhere. This one's slightly different. So thanks, Mel, for the nomination. I'll quickly smash this video out without too much more stuffing around. Um, so there's five questions involved in this one. First one, well, what inspired you to make YouTube videos? I don't know why I started. I created my YouTube channel in 2006 um, called Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. Now, at that stage, um, I was heavily into, into database development. Uh, with our software company and um, I was going to make a, a YouTube channel about you want to get down okay there you go bye bye sweetheart the butterfly is not here darling you don't have to be scared of the butterfly <laughs> she's scared of butterflies um, uh, I was originally going to use that channel to talk about database design and database development and so I called it rubbish in, rubbish out. You put rubbish in the database and you'll get rubbish out of your database. I never really did that. I used that channel um, for the first few years to make video responses back when YouTube had a video response feature where you could click on the video response button underneath the video, film a response, and it would post it back to that uh, uh, that uploader as a video response. Now you can, you can create a video, upload it, and send a message to that person saying, hey, listen, I made a response to your video, etc." But the functionality doesn't exist anymore. So I did lots of videos like that, maybe eight, nine, ten of them, uh, responses to different sorts of videos, and and around sort of 2009 or so, I started watching um, content on YouTube about miniature gaming. It's been a, a hobby of mine since I was 14, 15, which uh, I've spoken about on uh, other videos on my channel in the past. And I saw some videos, I don't remember who they were from or what they were about, they probably don't exist now. A lot of people who were producing content back when I was producing content quite regularly just don't post anymore, they're not around anymore. Um, maybe they watch, every now and then I see someone pop up, um, like Ren Zero, he pops up every now and then and, and posts on, on, on my channel. Um, but a lot of those people just don't exist anymore. Anyway, so I thought, look, I'll film some videos. I've got, I'm working on some stuff in my garage right now. I'll go out and, and film some videos. I think the first ones that I put up were about magnetizing my Empire Army for Warhammer Fantasy. Maybe my Undead. I can't remember quite what it is. It's still there. It's the very first one and two videos about magnetizing um, my Warhammer Fantasy Army, which I probably may have. I don't know. I cleared out a lot of that stuff earlier this year. Um, so what inspired me to make YouTube videos? Other YouTube channels. I don't know who they were, um, but I thought, look, I've got a camera. Oh, you're back. I've got a camera. Oh, become, I've got a camera and I can, I can make some videos and I can upload them and share my hobby with the community. And things just sort of, you're showing them your book? Yeah. What's that book? Peppa Pig. That's a Peppa Pig book, is it? Uh, and things just sort of progressed from there. I filmed more content at my garage, at my house. Um, and then as time went on, um, and I'd been with my dad's software company for a while, we were sort of butting heads about the direction of the company and the direction of our software and, um, and, uh, something had to give. And, uh, my dad obviously, uh, couldn't expect him to leave the company. So I left and uh, I started, um, uh, my gaming store. And I guess part of the motivation of, that's very, it's very sweet, darling. That's, they love that. 
uh, part of the motivation um, uh, for that, the inspiration for that, was uh, Mini Wargaming. They uh, they had their store up in Canada. They had a good YouTube channel, and I thought, look, I can do this. I love miniature gaming. Um, I've got quite a lot of business experience. I'll open up a retail store, and that's where Battle, Battle Bunker came around, and that's where a lot of my content was filmed at uh, at the Battle Bunker shop. Uh, I used to live upstairs in a unit above the shop, so I was always there. It made it easy to uh, record content. Um, but those weren't... Um, uh, that, that wasn't the best period of, of my life. It was great fun and I enjoyed it, but it burnt me out quite a lot. Um, living there, working there, constantly being involved in it, it, was, uh, it wasn't good. I ended up with quite a serious um, smoking problem. I smoked heaps of weed every day in the shop constantly. Smoked about an ounce of weed every day and that eventually led to, uh, to, to quite a severe breakdown where uh, I, I tried to commit suicide. And... Um, so I had to I had to close that shop. I just had to get away from it for a while, and uh, and then I had a big break. Moved into my house here in Preston, not this one, we the old one, and uh, and kept on filming videos here and there, but not a lot. And and then we knocked that house down and built this one, and things just sort of progressed. And now I now I have Knights of Dice, which I've had for a number of years, but only in the last year or so started producing um, that laser cut MDF uh, scenery, and we've just acquired Laser Touch. So we do acrylic token soon, and and uh, foam trays and all that sort of stuff. And it, that's consuming massive amounts of my time, just getting that up and running and off the ground. Uh, I just don't get time to, to, to make videos anymore. So anyway, long long uh, answer to a, a very short question, what inspired you to make YouTube videos? Somebody on YouTube, I have no idea who it was. Where do you want your channel to go? Every now and then I kind of think I want it to go away. Um, it's, it's, it's in some ways a, a burden for me because I produced so much content, and it was just haphazard content, whenever I felt like the need to film something, I'd put the camera on and we'd film some tutorials or whatever. Um, and then as time progressed, I mean, it's been seven years now, um, everything became a bit random. Random brewing videos, random ramble videos, um, random tutorials, bits and pieces, things that didn't get completed. Um, it, and it just sort of now, in the, in the un attended state that it is in I, it, I feel a lot of pressure from it um, I mean there's we're creeping up on 15,000 subscribers most of those are old subscribers you do have a hat it's a Dora hat um, most of those are old subscribers I don't know how many people actually watch my channel now I don't have any really interesting content and so when when people find old videos that are two three four five six years old and they make comments on them um, it just reminds me that at one stage I had a channel that was active and then it was rolling and I used to really enjoy it And now because I don't get the time to put towards the channel um, It just feels like that those people who have come along and subscribed to my channel just aren't getting what they came to subscribe for And I, I feel pressure there. So where do I want uh, my channel to go? Sometimes I want it to go away um, But on, on, at the same time I, I really would love to keep doing videos, but uh, it's just a matter of managing the time and finding the time to do it. Uh, I don't have, I've got, I don't have all my stuff here at home, so that makes it a bit difficult to do. Um, all that stuff is in the studio at the warehouse, and it's quite noisy there with lasers running and extractors running and compressors and everything running. Um, it's a work environment, so there's crap everywhere. Um, we have deliveries that come in constantly, and it's it's impossible to find a clean space to actually. Uh, set up a, 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 a workshop space to uh, to make scenery. Most of my stuff that you would have seen in videos that I filmed at the warehouse is now all packed up and stored on shelves. It's hard to get access to. Um, it's just a different environment than it has been in the last couple of years. Where can you see your channel in five years time? Probably it won't exist. Um, I don't know. I Every now and then, every few months, I, I creep over towards the the, the remove every video button and uh, the delete my channel button um, but uh, I don't know honestly I really don't know I'm I'll probably just keep it just to post random shit every now and then um, about stuff that I'm doing sorry darling um, to post just random stuff maybe at some stage if I can find time uh, and, and and schedule it in properly and, and create a space to create uh, content that's relevant to wargaming, then maybe I'll have another channel. I, I have set up another channel and I uh, have all the infrastructure around it. 
uh, to do something with in the future. And maybe if we can in the, uh, find time to get it done, I'll get something done there. So where can you see your channel in five years time? I have absolutely no idea. A, it either won't exist or it would just be full of random videos from, from rubbish in, rubbish out. Any advice for new YouTubers setting up? Oh, look, it's, I, I, there's so many things that you could mention to somebody. Um, sound quality, video quality, frequency of uploads, um, uh, focused uploads. Make sure, sort of, I don't know, there's so many things that, uh, that I could tell you. The, 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 probably the most important thing, if you're, it depends on your content a little bit. If you're showing people stuff, kind of like a, um, a gallery or, or, or what's the right word? Um, if you're showing people your terrain or showing people your miniatures or something, then you need good video quality. If you're talking a lot, like this video for example, then you need good sound quality. Uh, and hence the reason I've got this microphone here hooked up to a mixing desk that feeds now into this software and, and we're capturing audio through that. Um, so what type of video you're making or, 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 or videos you're making is going to depend on what sort of technology you want to use. Um, now in Spud's introduction video to this I Am A Wargamer series, he said, look, their smartphones these days can do exactly what you need them to do. And you can use a webcam as well, and that's certainly going to be, certainly going to be fine uh, for most people. Um, but sound is a big issue, video quality is a big issue, again, depending on what you're filming. Film stuff that you're interested in, in doing. For me, it was terrain. Um, it's always been about terrain. Gaming has always been about terrain for me. Um, and uh, it's just, a, it comes naturally to me. Building stuff, uh, showing people how to do stuff. Mel, in his nomination video to me, as well as a bunch of other people, said that he loves to teach. And I love to teach. I spent seven years as a trainer with our software company, traveling all across Australia, training people on how to use different sorts of software. Um, and that certainly helped me grow my channel because it's allowed me to be more confident in front of the camera and explain things clearly, I hope, um, and allow me to, to help you guys learn. Um, I also have a, a, a background um, in acting. Um, I was, uh, did a lot of drama when I was younger and that's helped me to be charismatic, that's helped me to be confident. Um, I don't have an issue speaking in front of large crowds. Um, that's, that's, that's another thing that you need to, to try and harness in your videos is produce content that you know about and that you're interested in and that will then naturally allow you to speak more confidently about it and if you're a charismatic type of person um, then that also helps if you're not a charismatic person person by nature um, learn how to use some editing software so you can edit your video together to make it uh, a little bit more interesting for somebody to watch and a little bit easier for you to record because if you're not confident and you stutter a lot or your voice quivers, um, then, then that's gonna come across in the video. But you can alter that and edit that in your, uh, your post-production sequences through the use of Clever, cutting uh, images in and out, uh, cutting audio in and out. Um, so if you're not naturally a charismatic speaker, um, but you know about your content, then learn to use your editing software to help overcome that because that, people will notice that. And it makes a difference when you're watching someone's video that if they're confident, about what they're talking about and they're coming across in a manner that and keeps you engaged then they're far more likely to watch to the end and come back uh, when you produce new content and that's the last thing is produce content regularly if you want to grow a channel then make sure that you're producing content regularly now you shouldn't be forced or feel like you're forced to do that i felt that pressure quite a lot um a couple of years ago and i've got a video somewhere on my channel about it um if it's if you're feeling pressure then 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 don't do it don't do it. Find something. Find the routine that you're comfortable with, and uh, and it will grow. Things will happen. What would you add to improve YouTube? Five five five. Ah, let's. Um, what would you add to improve YouTube? Look, I have no idea. Um, from an infrastructure point of view, I'd like to see better control of how you subscribe and manage the channels that you subscribe to. Much like Facebook, um, YouTube's uh, algorithm that it uses to decide what it shows to you in your feed is is next to useless, right? Um, I'm so randomly engaged with YouTube these days that I, a, a lot of content that I want to watch from people that I want to watch is gone. And I watch so many people that I don't know what their channel names are. 
that uh, it makes it difficult for me to sit down and go look for a specific channel. So I'd like to see some better channel management, better subscription management that allows me to, 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 um, you're trying to put it on? Do you want me to help you? Here you go. There you go. That's better. I'd like to see some better management there for, for subscribing to channels and adding them to different sorts of, uh, uh, groupings and listings and, and ranking those channels so that when I do get time to sit down and watch YouTube I want to go to my terrain folder and watch all my five-star channels and then maybe go check out my one-star channels to see what those guys are doing and perhaps have improved and I can give them a two-star ranking um, <laughs> I don't know that I'd like to see that sort of functionality because I think it's it's, it's really badly lacking in, in, in YouTube um, so anyway, there we go. Let's 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 keep that short and and sweet. There are the five questions. Now I'm supposed to nominate three people to uh, to to do their I am a wargamer video and answer the five questions. Um, I hate to be a sourpuss, but I, I'm not a massive fan of chain letters and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I, do, I really don't know who to nominate. I've been out of the game for such a long time. I'm not really engaged with the community on YouTube anymore. Um, that it's difficult. If I do have to, then um, Adam Rogers from Greenleaf Terrain is a good friend of mine. Um, we chat every now and then, and he spent some time living with me here in Melbourne. Um, and he's, he's, he makes some great, great, great terrain. I love seeing the amount, I love seeing his projects. The amount of stuff that he produces is out of control. When Adam was here, um, he did so much stuff in my shop, it was amazing. So Adam Rogers from Greenleaf Terrain. Um, Sean Morris, uh, now I don't know what Sean Morris's channel is anymore. It might just be Sean Morris. I don't know. I'll find out and put it in the description. He used to have a channel called The Terrain Guy. Yeah, yeah, The Terrain Guy. Does a lot of 15 mil stuff for Flames of War, but his tables are unbelievable. Um, there's a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of passion goes into what Sean creates. Um, and he's certainly an artisan of his craft. So um, those two Terrain Guys... Um, and off the top of my head, I couldn't think of a third person. I've been so far removed from what's going on, and, and, and I just don't engage as much as I'd like to with the community that, uh, that on the spot, I couldn't think of a third person. Um, no, I don't, I don't. So I'm just going to do the two. If that breaks the rules, I'm sorry. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of... Of, of chain letters and all that sort of stuff which this video falls into the category of but uh, Mel nominated me and sent me some messages on Facebook and we had a bit of a chat so here it is this is my response to I am a war gamer I hope you guys are all keeping well I hope you're loving life I am this is the reason right here that I don't spend much time in front of the camera anymore because I'd rather spend time with her and I'm sure if she was your daughter you'd certainly agree as well I love you darling thanks guys I love you thanks for all your support over these many years and hopefully I will see you soon bye bye